Yo guys, it's me Josh and welcome to Let's Talk About, the series in which I talk about the things that are flowing through my head. Now, summer. So, generally I quite like summer, I think it's probably the best season, you've got loads of sun, you can go on holiday, and everything's perfect, at least at a glance, but... It's just great because you can go on holiday, go somewhere like Butlins or something, go to Spain, go on the beach, have a nice sunbathe, jobs are good in. But it does have its downsides. The start of the flower pollen season, loads of long queues for pretty much everything. Overpriced ice cream or ice lollies literally everywhere you look. And car parks are pretty much always full. And pollen, that's a big problem, especially for me, or people like me, who have hay fever. Now, the tree pollen season starts in spring, and that's already started. I've already had to get my Beckon spray out and <laughs> snort that up my nose. But flower pollen season is a different beast. It's a beast from the east, from the south, from the north, from the west, from every direction. It's a different beast. Now, hay fever just goes all over the place, like, with mine, I even have itchy eyes, so I'll get an itch in my eye, I'll do that, and then my eye will look like it's just been taken a shit on by a bird for the next half an hour afterwards, and it's, it'll happen in both eyes, it'll just be like, like that, <coughs> oh gosh, and that is a big problem with your, with my with my eyes and my hay fever. And that is only made worse when the flower pollen season starts. And I have the flower pollen and the tree pollen all the way up until autumn when both of them stop. They seemingly start at different times and stop at different ones at the same time. I don't know why, but that just seems to be how it is. And of course, queues. Now, as someone who's British, I'm pretty accustomed to um, queuing. But that does not change the fact that it's incredibly frustrating especially somewhere like a theme park i remember last year actually was it last 2019 that was when it was and i was at fort park i was queuing for the swarm and we had to wait about 90 minutes i think it might have been in about 32 degrees in june outside just standing still getting sticky hot and sweaty in the sun, and that was not good, it was awful, um, and situations like that, with long queues and hot sun, they don't really combine together very well, and that is incredibly annoying and frustrating, I find, and another example for one of the worst things, I'd say, actually, is a, um, water park, especially when you go somewhere like Spain in, like, May or something, you could go to a water park, and, of course, in the sun, you get that sort of temperature where it's not quite hot enough to um, be warm when it's, like, the water just dripping down off you whilst you're queuing up for a water slide, but then warm enough where you feel warm most of the time. So you'll just be waiting there, waiting for the water slide. And the, the first water slide you go on, you'll be fine because you'll be all dry. But then the second one you go on, this will be an issue because you'll just have the dripping water on you. And when the water's dripping down from you, you get really cold because it's not quite warm enough to offset the cold water. It's like 30, 20 degrees outside feels fairly warm. 20 degrees in a pool, in a swimming pool, doesn't really feel that warm at all. So, it's such a difference. And, um, also, overpriced ice cream is another thing. Like, literally, you want a, you're in a hot day, imagine this, a hot, nice day. You're sunbathing and you think, oh, love an ice cream. Nice ice lily, yes please. Well, you go down to... Raj's ice cream shop and you have an ice cream normally would be about one pound pound fifty two pounds three pounds four pounds sometimes for a king ice cream are you taking the piss and 
everywhere in summer, it seems. They are just so extortionate in price. I, rem I remember this gelato place, is that what they called it? That's what the Italians call it as well, anyway. Five quid for an ice cream. Five fucking quid for an ice cream. Are you serious? Outrageous, absolutely outrageous. I can't believe five quid for an ice cream, and it was pretty nice. But five quid is a lot for one ice cream. Like if I think what I could buy five quid, I mean, if I went somewhere like Sainsbury's, I could get like three chocolate bars, a drink, and something for five quid. Maybe yeah, drink and crisps probably. All that for five quid, like. Really, five quid for an ice cream is taking the mick. I and mean, it's not just this one place. I can guarantee you most places will be at least two pounds for anything like that. At least two pounds for a um ice cream or something. And even the ice all is like pound fifty, two pounds, sometimes three pounds, depending on what you get. And yeah, not good value at all in summer. Not good value at all. And of course you've got to think if you're going to a beach or somewhere when you get there, you probably want to park your car. In fact, you definitely want to park your car. And if there's no car parking spaces, where are you meant to park it? And it always seems like every car park, there'll be like one space left and it won't be big enough for the car. Or there'll be a space left and it'll be like right next to a bollard or something and it'll be really awkward to park in it. And there will never be enough car parking spaces free. And that is infuriating is the only word to describe that absolutely infuriating and um yeah not good at all but like i say summer is my favorite season because if you think about it all of the nice hot weather it's got a great atmosphere <laughs> magnifique magnifique in summer and um yeah i love summer because you can go on holiday in that and you don't in the summer months have school either or college or work i mean if if you do have an actual job you can take leave which is good and uh, yeah oh speaking of jobs i do videography so if you're a company that's somehow watching this or something or if you work for a company hit me up at my email and i'll work with you i charge pretty reasonable prices so yeah Go send me an email for that. But back onto the subject of summer. I, the best thing I would say about summer is just like swimming in that in like outdoor pools and going to water parks, things like that. Things like the beach and just paddling and having a swim, stuff like that is great fun. And you can just have a good time in summer. Like in winter, you can have a good time, but you have to really try to have a good time. It's a lot easier in summer. Like, in winter, you'd have to um, just be really positive all the time because you've got all the negative of the cold weather. Like, it was windy when I went out for a walk home, so my hair's looking a bit silly, that's why. And it's just cold all the time. Whereas in summer, when it's nice and warm, it's really easy to have a good time and just enjoy yourself. So, that is really good. And that is pretty much... All I have to say on summer is that I love it, but it does have its problems and issues, which I have just discussed. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as well. There'll be a link to the playlist of the rest of these videos in the description below. If you just click, see, click on um, that link, it'll probably be at the top, I'll put it. And you can see all the other videos from this Let's Talk About series. You can enjoy watching them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.